Hi everybody, I'm Kate Arnold. And I'm Amanda Magadan. I'm Harriet O'Toole Soulsby. And, and we're, we're your hosts for the 2016 parties. I'm here with head, head coach of the women's basketball team, Teresa Grants. What has it been like taking over the team this year? Oh my gosh. Oh darling, it was fabulous. It was absolutely fabulous. Um, I can't remember when I've had so much fun. It was really, it was just fabulous. It really was. I think the question that everyone here has been really wanting to know, who is your favorite player on the team? Oh gosh, my favorite. Well, I do have favorites. There's this one lovely young lady from um, England. There's what a coincidence. Oh darling. Ah, wait. <laughs> oh, there you are. I didn't really, so gorgeous. Oh, so gorgeous. Yes. We're here with Sam Pozak and she's on women's soccer and she's up for an award tonight. So how do you feel about being up for an award? Pretty excited about it. Um, I don't really, I don't think I've really been nominated for a lot of awards here before. So it's my first time. I'm very excited. So you're nominated for both awards tonight. How does that feel? Um, it's certainly a tremendous honor um, to be receive such recognition among a very talented class uh, of athletes that we've had here. So whether or not I win or lose, certainly it's, it's good enough for me just to be nominated because it's a very talented class and just happy to be a part of it. Um, so Thomas, you're up for an award tonight. Uh, how do you feel going into the night? I feel pretty confident. I don't know, I like my chances. Uh, the other athletes are obviously um, just as qualified for this thing, but I don't know, I feel pretty good about it overall. So I love your outfit, so I'd love to know who are you wearing tonight? Uh, I I think I'm wearing Nordstrom. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure who I'm wearing, but uh, the cowboy hat is, is Stetson, for sure. <laughs> it's a great look. Good luck tonight. Hi, I'm with Bryce Scott of the men's basketball team. Bryce, what are you wearing today? I decided to go with pink. I thought it would be you know easy to see. Um, I'm, a, I'm a happy, positive guy. I thought pink brought that out of me. Um, who's the best dancer on your team? Other than me, because I, they took a lot of lessons from me at halftime and things like that when I danced around. But let me see, rhythm-wise, ooh, that's, that's a rough, I would say Billy. Okay. I would say Billy, <laughs> the bopper, as we call him. <laughs> Billy the bopper. Yo, Billy, you're famous for your dance moves. Can you give us one right now? Yeah, easy. Is this your signature? Hey. <laughs> Have you passed on your dance moves to any of the men's basketball team to live on your tradition? Yeah, Austin and Paul is absolute legends. They're going to come up, they're going to do good things. They're going to take my moves and just make them that much better. Do you guys, are you going to keep in touch after you graduate? Oh yeah, these are like my brothers here. Best friends. Absolutely brothers. Not with that pink coat, I really can't talk to him much anymore. So do you, do you three think you're going to keep in touch? Who's going to be the worst at that? Um, I think I would be definitely the worst. Um, I live farther away oh, from the two of them, that's but nice. that's not an excuse. Um, but I definitely, I promised them that no matter what, um, at least once every other month, I'd be going to New York to see them. I was just going to say text us once every month. <laughs> We're here with the field hockey coaches. Um, we'd like to ask you a few questions to get to know your team a little bit better. <laughs> so, who do you think on your team would be most likely to trip down the red carpet? Kate Arnold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kate Arnold. Don't know if you know her. <laughs> I don't. Um, who's the best dancer out of you bunch? Kirby. 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 You, would you like to show some moves? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good display. <laughs> and who's most likely to uh, stun the runway with their fashion sense? Uh, all of us. Yeah. I like that. I mean, like, yeah, Look at all of them. Clearly all of them. I would say it's a tie. I would say it's a tie. Who on your team are you most worried about sleeping through graduation? Wow. Uh, Nate Aronson. Yeah, yeah. Nate Aronson. A little concerned about everything with Nate, but, uh, you know, getting to graduation is, uh, we'll make sure somebody else is in charge of him, like always. Who is most likely to trip down the red carpet? Campbell. 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 Yeah. Campbell. Yeah. Campbell. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to watch for him. Probably Which of your teammates do you think is most likely to trip down the red carpet? Yes, You've made it pretty far, so I think you're okay. Um, how does it feel to have the Queen of England rule your country? Uh, she doesn't really do anything, honestly. Uh, kind of like the same as in England, honestly. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. So what are your plans for after college? Are you going to go back to Australia? Um, yeah, I'm going to go back for a couple of months and then I'm going to go to Ireland to do post-grad so, and play. So it'll be really awesome. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? No, I'm the interviewer. I'm going to ask you one question. How does it feel to have a girl who's taller than you? She's wearing heels. <laughs> still taller still than counts. you. Still counts, still counts. So what's been one of your best memories cheering together? 
Definitely Lawfully High in Yankee Stadium, yeah. the 150. Lawfully High for sure. Yeah, Super bonding door. experience, like nothing like it. Do you guys have a favorite team to cheer for? Women's basketball. Ooh. Ooh. Women's basketball. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm on the women's basketball team. Great, great. <laughs> So you guys are well known on your team for being selfie queens. Can you give us a few tips on how to take a selfie? Lighting, as Kim Kardashian would say. Gotta get the good lighting. Um, <laughs> yoga. Lighting is number one. Number two is length and height. Because you gotta get it from above so that you get all the features and your eyes pop. So can we take a selfie right now? Let's do it. Let's go. Watch and learn. Okay, the question of the night is, would you rather do Kirchhoff Challenge every year for the rest of your life or have to take finals every year for the rest of your life? Kirchhoff. 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 Which I never Kirchhoff. thought I would say, but Kirchhoff. Oh, man, that's actually really tough because people were throwing up at Kirchhoff, but <laughs> finals are rough. I'd rather do Kirchhoff, no doubt, as an athlete, always. Okay, I've never done the Kirchhoff Challenge, but I would pick that over finals. <laughs> <laughs> no, no to finals. <laughs> Great, well, thank you, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Most importantly, if you had to choose between doing the Kirchhoff Challenge every single year for the rest of your life or taking finals every year for the rest of your life, what would you go for? Kirchhoff. Finals. Kirchhoff Challenge. Uh, I would say I would say Kirchhoff, because that's one and done. Finals takes way too many days to study for. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have a yeah. good night. Thanks, Manders. <laughs>